What's up guys? So, I just want to make this video today talking about Min Min because, you know, she's been kind of hot topic lately and how in Japan she's kind of just messing people up. I'm just going to loop this uh, one uh, clip of Frodo Bonham, one of the best players in Japan with Lucina and now Min Min, destroying Philip, one of the best players in Japan also with a three sock in like 90 seconds. Because he's been just kind of, him and a lot of Min Min has been kind of just running Japan online and offline recently. Because I realize this character is absurd. So, let's talk about why this character is absurd offline. And I think she's significantly better offline than she is online. I know Isam feels the same way. And now, I know, to be fair, every character is better offline than online for the most part. You know, there are exceptions, but most characters lose stuff online. It's just which characters lose more offline. I mean, online compared to offline, you know? If you have a character like Game Watch or Rob who have, like, lead traps, it kind of just work regardless because it's not really much timing on it. Then your character doesn't lose that much online compared to a character, say, like, um, I don't know, Joker, who has a lot of, like, very precise timings for punishes and lead traps and stuff that you can't really do online. And so with that out of the way, Min, Min you know, online, she gets to spam things, right? Like, that's just what she does. She mashes, it's pretty good. But a big difference in a neutral online versus offline is she has to really just mash and spam. She can't hit in from the well, right? She can't, like, you know, hit, like, a weak hit arm into, like, a strong hit, like, smash for a combo. She also has a lot uh, more difficulty using arms as baits to, like, make people do things and react to them. Like, I can't, like, hit your shield with, like, one arm and then try to react to, like, a roll and a jump at the same time with the other arm. So I'm kind of forced to guess a lot more. And you can always say, yeah, well, people have to guess what she's doing a lot more with her arms as well. Harder to, like, parry it and react to that stuff. And yeah, it's true. But I think it hurts her a little bit more to not be able to basically, like, play her game plan as perfect as she wants. Compared to people not being able to punish her stuff as much as they want. Because a lot of times her stuff is just kind of safe. And like a lot of times like... That and a lot of times because her attacks are so kind of slow. You can surprisingly parry stuff and find openings between her arm swings anyway. And she is punishable when she messes up quite often. Which is very easy to do if you like don't react properly with an arm swing. So that's one thing. I think when it comes to using things like her anti-projectile up smash. Um... And a lot of defensive tools like down tilt, dash tech punishes, whatever. It's a lot harder to use that online than offline because you don't have a lingering reflector with the project with the up smash. It's like eight frames, which sounds like a good amount. And it comes out frame seven, which is nice. But a lot of times it's like hard to react to projectiles with that. And a lot of times you have to time it pretty precisely, which isn't easy, obviously. Compared to a lot of like um, anti projectile tools that linger, which makes a lot of characters have those things, like, you know, uh, a wolf down B, a, um, a D to D neutral B, where the timing isn't that precise. They can just kind of use it and it's hard to punish. And like it's easy to punish the projectiles at the same time. So another factor there. And then I think especially for her advantage state, oh, and also up smash, like in, as an anti uh, air tool, so good offline because you can react to the jump ins and consistently just like you're jumping in with the hitbox, up smash. Whereas online you have to kind of guess and doing a little bit too preemptively. And the move is very laggy and punishable to be with. But finally, the entire ledge game for her, I think online is like kind of fucked, honestly. It's not like she's awful ledge trapping or edge guarding or two framing online, but she significantly loses out on being able to consistently time like uh, ram ram two frames, which is completely busted by the way. Ram ram forward smash two frames is not okay. You can't do that like well enough online, so. Now it's just like, they see she almost loses that option. Ledge trapping with her like 14 frame-ish forward tilts, forward airs, whatever. Pretty hard online, but offline you can barely cover things like rolls, get-ups, jumps on reaction pretty well. And just basically peek from the corner forever. Same with edge guarding, right? Where it's like you can kind of just edge guard them over and over offline. Whereas online, a little bit hard to time these 14 frame plus aerials that are like thin. Sure, they're not like Sephiroth, like toothpick sword size thin, but they're pretty thin and precise. And if you miss them, you're in quite a bit of end leg. And I'm trying to think of anything else I forgot. That's kind of the gist of why I feel like this character, you know, like I said, every character is better offline than online. Why well, I think this character suffers more than most. Now you can definitely argue that she's much easier to keep in disadvantage offline. That's true, 100%. Like it's so hard to keep anyone with disadvantage offline. I mean, online compared to offline, right? But at the same time, she also doesn't have many tools in disadvantage in the first place, so like it's not hard to like fight her. 
put her off stage and then she's just dead. Or put her in the air and she can't land that well. Like, her disadvantage state and her lack of ability to do with pressure, like, doesn't really change that much when you're fighting against her online or offline because she's so limited there. Whereas her ability to exploit other people there is so, so much better. And just the fact that, like, Japan is now having offline events and, you know, Pro Bonham is showing people, yeah, this character is busted completely. Just kind of about is how I've thought about her for a while, and it's cool to see that. And uh, y'all ain't ready for this when offline's back, let me tell y'all. In 2028, actually, like 2080 probably for America, when offline's back, y'all about the like, damn. The buzz told us so. That was, this is scary. And I'm excited for that personally. I. So, Min Min's character design is definitely pretty toxic. I get why people hate her. She is very frustrating to fight against. But for me, she is the most fun character in this game to play, by far. And so I'm very excited to be a player and like, eventually show her why, hey, she is uh, nuts though. And with that said guys, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you enjoyed just watching the <laughs> Proto Bonham dismantle Philip over and over. And peace out y'all.